These are the beer pong rules, also known as Beirut. <clears throat> you are going to need beer pong balls. They are called ping pong balls, but in our world they are called beer pong balls. And party cups, 16 ounce party cups. You're gonna need between, if you wanna play six cup, you're gonna need 12 party cups, obviously six for each side. If you wanna play 10 cup, like real men and women do, real men. Um, <laughs> you, we're gonna need 20 party cups, 10 for each side. <clears throat> you want at least two beer pong balls, because sometimes things get rowdy. What you're gonna need, besides that, is an eight foot table. That's a standard length table. Obviously today we're working with a little bit shorter table, but uh, an eight foot table is a standard table. That's a regulation size ping pong table, um, and that is a professional beer pong table size. So, you wanna go a little shorter, you can, but if you wanna throw like the pros, toss with the pros, play with the pros, you're gonna need an eight foot table. Also, you're gonna need two other cups, preferably not party red party cups, um, to prevent water drinking. Um, <clears throat> you're gonna need these cups for water cups. So get like two larger cups, fill them three quarters of the way with water. These are your ball cleaning water cups. And you wanna not use party cups because when things get rowdy and when people get wild, they'll end up drinking the water cup which is full of cat hair and dirt and other things. Um, you're gonna set up in a triangle about an inch, uh, half an inch to an inch from your end of the table. Um, you're gonna set up a triangle of the cups. If it's 10 cup, it goes four, three, two, one. If it's six cup, it goes uh, three, two, one. And, um, and then play ensues. You're gonna get opposite your, your opponent. If you're just playing one-on-one, -on -one, you obviously just one, one person on each side of the table. If you're playing team pong, you have two players on each side of the table. You're gonna go eye to eye with your opponent, look them right in the eye, and you're gonna go one, two, three. Now this is to determine who gets to shoot the ball first. Shoot the balls first. Say I make the cups, I get both balls, I then get to shoot both balls. There are house rules in beer pong. House rules always go. If you go to someone's house, if you go to a bar, if you, wherever you are, if you go to a party, you play by that person's house rules. There's no question, there's no argument. That person has the rules. If you make a cup, the person must pull the cup. If that cup is made, you pull it. Because if another ball goes in that same cup, the game is over. If two balls land in the same cup ever, the game is over. Now, you pull the cup, drink it, put it down, and they're gonna shoot again. If you make two cups, two separate cups, in one go, you it's a send back. So make two cups, balls get sent back to you, you shoot again, that's a send back. Re-rack rules for 10 cup beer pong go as such. Um, automatic re-rack at six cups. So that's mid-turn, that's any time. Obviously many variations on that. Some people do two racks per, per game, not mid-turn. Some people do re-rack at six, four, three, two, one, always reforming um, to make the game go faster. And then when we get down to the final cup, if you make the final cup, the other person has a chance to rebuttal.